Hello everyone. The reason I'm making this video is because in the upcoming weeks I plan on making a pretty extensive video on Magic Lantern and all the features that you probably don't realize that it has. It's it's very extensive firmware and there's a lot that you can do with it and I don't believe that it's being used to its fullest extent. So just to get prepared for that, just in preparation for the, that video or those videos if I decide to split it up, what I'm going to walk you through now is the installation and it's pretty straightforward so this won't be a long video but here we are at the Magic Lantern website as you can see that's the address up there magiclantern.fm we're going to go to support and then the install guide and what you're looking at now are basically the cameras that are supported by this firmware if you don't have one that's listed what you can do is download the nightly builds and I'll show you that in a little bit but basically if you have any of these listed right here 500D, the 550D, otherwise known as the T2i, you can make sure that your camera is up to date by checking the firmware version. Now as you can see with the picture on the right hand side, that is where you would have to navigate to find out which version that you have. Now if you don't have that version, the red text that you see, you would click on that and it would bring you to the website where you would be able to download the firmware and install it. And what you are seeing on your screen now is how you would go about updating your firmware. So now that you have the right firmware on there, in preparation for the Magic Lantern firmware, now we can go to the correct location to actually download the Magic Lantern firmware to install on your camera. So here we are at the main page. I'm going to scroll down. And don't worry if you didn't see your camera listed on the previous screen that I've shown. As you can see here, these are all the supported cameras. Now you may have to go into a nightly build, as I mentioned, or into the forums to see what everybody is using or suggesting to use. A lot of the admins will have links to what you should download on the first page of most of the forum subjects. And to locate the forums, what you would do is come up here, over to forum, and there's a search option right here. But now that we are here at the main screen, what I'm going to do is go over to downloads. And the ones that we mentioned before, and we made sure that the correct firmware was installed, and that being the Canon firmware, now we can go hit down here to download. This screen is just telling you that Magic Lantern kind of absolves itself from any issues that it may cause with your camera. Personally, I haven't had any issues myself, and most of the people that I've spoken with haven't had any issues. But I'm sure for legal reasons or just in case something were to happen, they have to put this disclaimer. So what I'm going to do now is click on I agree. And then obviously you would just navigate to where you wanted to save your firmware. Now there's a couple things to keep in mind when you're installing this firmware. Make sure that you have a fully charged battery, preferably a Canon one. Just make sure there's enough power going to the camera. If you have any accessories attached to it, like a battery grip, an external flash, anything in the hot shoe, any accessories, just remove them for the camera, at least obviously just for the install. Preferably, you want an SD card, 32 gigabytes or smaller. Technically, you can use something larger, but you may not even need it. I don't suggest that you necessarily go any bigger than 32 anyway, just in case you have a card fail and then you lose all your footage. Now, the next thing you want to do is rotate your mode dial to the M position for manual. And now I'm going to show you the installation process and how straightforward it is. Thank you. 
Underneath the stable release, we have the nightly builds. Now these will have the most up-to-date features, but as you can tell by the name, the stable re release is something that they've tested and it's tried and true and it's working. Nightly builds, again, you'll have the most new, f the newest features, but you may run into some bugs and that's actually the purpose of them. They'll roll out a couple new features if something were to happen, you report it in the forum, and they work on it. But remember, that's not the only reason that you should use the nightly builds. If you have a camera such as the 5D Mark III, where it's not listed with the stable release, you would go here. And then you, of course, go down to this drop-down list, locate your camera. And then as soon as the download prompt appears, you click on that and you download that into your computer and install normally. What you can do here also is check the change log. Now the change log will show you everything that's been fixed or updated or is included with the current download. So thank you for watching. As I said, I'm going to come out with a video soon with all the features that you see on the screen right now. Those are a lot of the things that the Magic Lantern software will allow you to do. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you can be updated when those videos are released. And I'll see you guys soon.